Do not patronise me and give no. me that. Smile. Come, come, show me the smile. But... Children? Four. Or five, no, perhaps. Six. First of all, let me say this. I have seven kids. I strongly suggest you don't do that. <laughs> Do you read? Books. Do you smoke? Cigarettes? No. I even construct my own hats. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. I am sure we have much to learn from you, such as the preparation of this most excellent tea. <laughs> Potatoes. Again. Why are we always eating potatoes? Because these days I am the housekeeper, ladies' maid, scullery maid, and cook. Have all the staff truly departed, Mama? Well, I am quite good at boiling the veg. Thank After all, this is the season the Viscount intends to find a wife. <laughs> you honestly just did that? I believe I did. <laughs> Lady Danbury, we wish to leave. Uh, Miss Sharma, allow me to introduce Sharma. you to... My mama is already in our carriage. Some tea, my lord? Perhaps some more milk may be better. Oh, are those marbles? What fun! But if it means my sister will not be left destitute, then I will smile and I will nod politely after each and every sip to be sure. But apparently not. Have you found a wife yet? Or are you planning to offend every young girl until there are none left? Anyone here you've not yet rejected? Why is it so quiet in here? Because I am alone. We shall have our diamond tonight and I shall have my wife. If the Queen in fact names Eloise the diamond, whom will you marry then, brother? Hush you. I believe she could, and not Lady Whistledown, but someone more like Colin. My brother? No, not Colin. Colin! Any thoughts about children? Other than the fact that I desire them soon. However many I have, my lord, I shall feel misfortunate. Do you play any musical instruments, by chance? <laughs> many, in fact. I do love to read. I see forever in your eyes. It's rather strange. I thought the air was old. I thought the air was ugly. Ladies. It is quite all right. You must be my father. And no offence taken, he was ugly. Mm -hmm. And very old. Uh, so old that, well, he died. And I even took the liberty of having your possessions moved from your bedchamber, Lady Featherington. <laughs> yes, it's still strange. Just like you said, Mama, the new Lord Featherington is here to provide. We were done with her. Do not discourage her, Penelope. Mm -hmm. If she has taken an interest in Lady Whistledown again, perhaps it means she's interested in what she has to say about the season's available gentlemen, too. I cannot think of any cleverer way to say this, but no. Excuse me. <laughs> oh. Oh. Ah. Pen. We did not get a chance to speak this morning. We did. I said, Colin, but then again, there was nothing of note. Uh... Yeah, you met someone. Then I finally found you. You always do. Rain, the way the light seeps through when you hold it to the sky, look. Come on! Should be separated. It's all in good spirit. You think? Yes, I'm having such fun. Perhaps this is not such a wise decision. It seemed wise enough when you took half my pin money to escort me here. I will return it. Tell me what you know of her. Of who? We know this is where Lady Whistledown prints her paper. We do? Why did you think we were here? 
Is the shock you seem to be displaying at present due to the fact that I appear well-read and articulate? Or do you suffer from some medical ailment about which I should be informed? Regardless of which young lady I'd chosen to pursue, there would have always been some for the bracing exertion. There is a lesson here for you somewhere, Anthony. I only hope that this time you will finally learn it. Come on. You've sworn off women then? Not for the time being. I am a woman. You are pen. Did I strike you much harder than I realised earlier? There is a pleasure in the pathless woods. Oh. No, <laughs> Have you noticed, Cole? The twinkle of the candles. It is as, it's as if we sit among the stars. What is wrong with you? Oh! Benedict, dear. Benedict, dear. Benedict, dear. Benedict, dear. It's magical, brother. Mm. I got it! Must be great promise in my work. Oh, my! Whereas Madame Delacroix might be old, but at least she is capable. I was painting that. I got stung. Oh. I am well. Oh. Camp now, we may miss our quarry entirely. You know your maid, she's having a terrible time. Would you be quiet? It sounds like a remarkable journey. Remarkable, yes. In that, I seem to have many remarks about it, do I not? Indeed, I was not. You were the one who then looked at me. You looked at me! Not in the way that you did. And how exactly did I look? She wishes to take to the floor. Ah. Well, I am certain that... Uh, with you. 